For today's video, I wanted to talk about jewelry. Jewelry is one of those things that if I wear an outfit and I look in the mirror and I'm not wearing any jewelry, I just feel like something's missing. And so the minute that I put on jewelry, it's just magic. And my outfit just comes together effortlessly. It might be the most surprising, affordable thing in your closet. When you think about the amount of times that you could wear something, it's quite frequent compared to something like a shirt that you're gonna wear maybe once a week at most. Although the worst thing in the world is when you bought a piece of jewelry and you immediately regret it. So I want to talk today about ways that you could really prevent buyer's remorse when it comes to jewelry and to make sure that you really love a piece of jewelry instead. I also want to thank Majuri for being today's sponsor. I've worn their jewelry for over a year now and it's very special the way that they their attention to detail is and the collections that they come out with are just very unique and different from each other. So I have some pieces today that I will show you from the past that I have and then as well as some new pieces that they gifted me. The first thing that I want to talk about is that jewelry needs to be meaningful. When I have a piece of jewelry that represents a place that I love or somebody that I love, then I'm bound to keep that piece. So one way that you could do this is through some sort of monogram or you could also make it about a place that you love. Zach has an old like World War II necklace that is really cool. It has like Hawaii on it and it's so old school. It's got like an old World War II chain on it and it's just special and one of a kind. So another example of this is Majuri has a line called the Zodiac Collection and that's what I'm wearing today. It's a symbol of the Leo constellation and that represents Zach's Zodiac sign. So I could have gotten my own but getting his makes it just a little bit more special. Whereas I've never really been that much of an astrology sort of person. I do like that it's a constellation and to me that's really special because of the astronomy factor into it, which my grandfather was an astronomy professor. That's very symbolic in two ways to me. Next, I want to always make my jewelry a bit more on the minimal side. When I was a teenager, I used to wear just giant, colorful statement earrings all the time, even with like a sweatshirt. But why I did that was because I had longer hair and again, I was just younger. So that was something that I did then. It wasn't really timeless as much as something more minimal would be. So the great thing about minimal jewelry is that you can layer it. Also, it's not something that you are gonna get sick of and it's not something that other people will be like, oh, she's just wearing that necklace again. <laughs> like when you wear something that actually could be worn every day, then you can accessorize along with it and make it special in its own way. Next, I wanna talk about something that is really a pillar of this channel, which is quality over quantity. But I actually wanna phrase this a little bit differently. When it comes to jewelry, it's quality then quantity because you could layer and I like to add to my collection. It's always growing and it's never really changing though. So what I would prefer to do is get something that's quality so that then I could add to it over time. It should be something that is a slow process so far, it's taken me a couple years to really build up my jewelry collection. And I also moved it from brass pieces into gold pieces just because it was better for my skin. And of course, gold isn't really going to lose its value. It's actually something that could always be an investment piece. When I think about my jewelry collection, I want it to be something that I'm just adding to for years. I don't want it to be something that I buy everything this year and then I never buy jewelry again and I don't want it to be something where I buy it this year and I get kind of sick of the trends. So by building slowly, I can make wise purchases and wise selections and also I can do it in a manner that is appropriate for more so my budget. All of these tips so far have to do with heirloom, which is my next tip. So that's just something else I keep in mind is, is this piece going to be something that I could pass down one day? I just remember when I was about five, my grandma had this opal ring and I loved it so much. She promised it to me. And so one day I plan to have that and like store it 
and keep it very safe and maybe just wear it on special occasions. But that's something that is special to me. So heirloom is definitely something that I'm thinking about whenever I add to my jewelry collection. And finally, when it comes to picking out jewelry, I think that one of the most regretful purchases is when it doesn't fit right. So that could mean for rings especially, it can be very tricky. So when I pick out sizes of rings, I think that the best way to start with that is to pick something for not your middle finger, <laughs> um, but something that is middle size for all of your fingers. So instead of getting a ring that's just for your pinky or just for your thumb, right off the bat, like the first ring, accessory ring that you get should really be for a finger that is middle size. So that for me is my index finger. If I get something sized for that finger, then what I can do is if I ever like gain or lose weight or if I'm just a little bit more bloated, then I can switch fingers. So this ring I have is another one from Majuri and that one I could wear either on my thumb or I could wear it on like my ring finger and I just have options. I can wear it like on my middle finger and any of these are things that I could have stand the test of time because I feel like rings are the one thing that is bound to get resized. This also is a note on necklaces because if I can wear a necklace that could layer very easily, I would think of something that has an adjustable chain and then also I want to kind of pick out necklaces that have lengths that I'm not yet wearing. So if I have lots that are in the 24 inch range or in the 16 inch range, I'd rather get something that's more like a 20 inch so that necklaces don't tangle quite as easily. So thank you so much Majuri for sponsoring this video. Everything is linked down below if you're interested in any of the pieces that they gifted me. If you guys have questions regarding jewelry, I can answer those down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Champagne